Darren, 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 calm down. I, Darren, I know Trackmania 2 reminds you of your days as a stunt driving robot, but we need to get on with the review. Charging my turbo. Here in my car, I feel safest of all. Of course, yes. we're talking about Trackmania 2 Canyon, which is the latest in the series, and it's on the PC. And Darren, if you're such an expert on stunt driving racing games, why don't you tell us all about it? Oh, affirmative. The Trackmania games have been around since 2003, primarily on the PC, though there have been DS and Wii versions too. It's all about manoeuvring your little car through crazy obstacle courses at super speeds, just by using the four arrow keys on your keyboard. Some tracks may only take 20 seconds to finish, but it's all about getting the fastest time, so it's perfect for multiplayer action. Other Trackmania releases include Sunrise, Nations and United, but this is the first time they've put a two on the box, so Canyon is the first real sequel that this series has had since it launched. That's right, but straight away you'll notice that Canyon is very different to any Trackmania game before it. The whole graphics engine has been updated, so this is the best Trackmania has ever looked. Yeah, it's all much higher res, isn't it, with effects like blurring, realistic sunlight, especially when you zoom out of a dark tunnel and get momentarily blinded, and huge draw distances too. I mean, it's quite beautiful. Beautiful. It sure is. Stunning sunsets, massive rocky mountains, and the good news is all that scenery you see in the background actually exists. And I found this out because I, I drove off a cliff and I went exploring. Trust you to fall off the track, Barjo. Your car also got pretty beaten up too, I noticed. Yeah, I was just testing out the damage models to see see how good how good the damage was <laughs> in, the, in the game. Trackmania traditionally offers a bunch of different game modes, racing, puzzle, platformer and stunts, only this time there's only one mode and that's just racing, it's, it's weird that they've taken all that other stuff out, but we'll get to that in a bit. There are still multiple tiers to get through though, starting with the easiest white tracks through to the most difficult black tracks. Oh, the game challenges you to unlock those gold and silver medals so you can progress and then unlock the trickier tracks. But you do have the advantage of being able to follow a ghost car on the fastest gold medal time to observe what they do to get through. Were you scared by the ghost cars, Darren? <coughs> Negative. <coughs> you can also download the replays of your friend's times and race against those. What makes Trackmania so compelling is that as soon as you stack it, you can just press a button and instantly be reset back at the starting line. So you can try again. Yeah, and stacking is easy to do. The game also has many enormous jumps, loop-the-loops and ridiculous corners. You always just want to have one more go. I mean, this time I can do it. And how good is that feeling? Even when you shave one-tenth of a second off your time. Ah, oh, that feeling. It's so victorious. <laughs> and it's all about posting a better time than everyone else. For your time to get recorded on the global leaderboard, it needs to be official. But you're only allowed to post an official time once every five minutes. Yes, and how stressful is that when that time comes up? Because this is your one shot at fame. You've got to do it right. Oh, it's so tense. Yeah, there's nothing worse than getting an awesome time on your practice run and then stuffing it up on your official run. Oh. <laughs> I can see some people rage quitting. Yeah, I saw Darren rage quit. Negative. Yeah. Negative. Really? He flipped the computer over no. and he just legged it. Negative, oh. negative, 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 negative. Yeah. You are mistaken, Barker. Darren! Yeah. Oh, what were you doing then, Darren? Did you suddenly have an urge to make a sandwich for us? Because I didn't need a sandwich. I just saw you run away going, oh, truck mania! We're reviewing a game here, Barger. Back to it. Canyon only has one type of car to race with, and this car goes really, really fast and slides about a lot. Nailing a perfect long drift as you come around a corner is very satisfying, but occasionally you'll lose grip and spin out too, and I think this has to be one of the hardest track mania games yet. And if you get the chance to play it with a controller, I hear that's much better. Well, let's talk about the changes they've made, Barjo, because like we said, they've taken out most of the game modes and just left us with the one setting and car type, so it's a very stripped back version of track mania than we're used to. I mean, do you think this is so that they can release add-on packs later on and, you know, charge us more money? Yeah, I do. But there's still plenty of game to be had in Trackmania Canyon. It just, I think it feels a bit unfair because the last one had so many features. So what do you think overall? Does Canyon live up to previous Trackmanias? Yeah, I think so. Even though there's one racing mode and that's it, you can count on there being a good online community to support this game, which means there'll be loads of stuff created for it. Who knows what the developers have planned for the game, but as it stands, I'm giving it 8 out of 10 rubber chickens. 
Well, it feels to me like Canyon is aimed at more hardcore Trackmania players because the tracks are all really insane and this is more about mastering them. But it's undeniably good fun, so I'm giving it 7.5 out of 10 rubber chickens. Back to the racing. <laughs> He's been doing this for a week. <laughs> and he takes the corner. <laughs>